Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Fugitoid figure. Recommended for ages 4 and up, this comes to us from the folks over at Playmates Toys, or you will also see it also says Spin Master, who just distributes here in Canada for Playmates. The back of the package does not, however, feature any sort of read-up. Maybe for Canadian packaging, I don't know, it does not carry a read-up. But also you've got a cast of brand new figures down below, or more importantly further down below here still like to get my hand on the dark beaver as well as muck man though you will not get a read-up for fugitoid you do get a read-up saying training under their sensei splinter these teenage uh, turtle teens build their skills in ninjutsu and become the lean green fighting team known as the teenage mutant ninja turtles with some awesome allies the turtles prepare for their next battle against their mighty adversaries shredder and the krang Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. However, when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Fugitoid. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Getting a better look at the Fugitoid. He's a pretty cool update of the original Fugitoid from the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. For the most part, he's a pretty good-looking toy. Relatively secure toy. Although he's a little on the lankier side just because of the way he is... Um, not so much even his joints, but the way that he's built. He's very lanky in the legs, lanky in the arms. So sometimes getting his the, his legs to properly stand can be a little tricky. And as you can see, he falls over a little bit. Coloring is quite nice on him. It's not quite even a white, although on camera it probably appears to be more white. But uh, it's almost more of a pearl kind of white color. With a little bit of the swirls that you see in the plastic itself. Couple that, he's got some accent points of the yellow around the waist area, lower legs and fingertips, and some accents of black around the, the areas around his gauntlets of his arms, around the shoulders, and of course around the visor or eye area. His face is pretty good. Sometimes though, when you pick him up, you can probably hear that the goggles, I guess just the way that they, or the eyes, they've been attached, they do feel on the little loose side. Not loose that they'll fall out, but they do rattle a bit when you shake or or move Fugitoid. Uh, because he is not quite a turtle, um, he does not have perhaps necessarily the articulation that you would see from a turtle's figure. However, though, at least he has a little bit more than what I was expecting. It would have been cool, though, if the legs, as well as the arms, these little spindly points, could have had a wireframe that you could have bent it could have done something with it but the arms are a little more on the pre-posed say also for the uh, the legs there's they are really pre-posed well they're not pre-posed at least they're not arched weird like the krang but uh the, the you can see like the one leg is a little more on the bent side and the foot also has a little bit of an arch it's not quite flat but it's not it's not like the krang where it's it really has to have the figure you know a certain one way if, if that makes any sense when it comes to posability, Fugitoid's head is on a what appears to be a ball joint because the head seems to be able to pivot up and down as well as rotate all the way around. The shoulders are hinged, so that's good at least. And while I thought that might have been it for his arms, he does also have a rotational point and the, I guess the bottom area of his, what would be his forearm. So at least that does rotate. Uh, he has no articulation, no posability in the waist, or really in the torso area. Legs have the same sort of flexibility that the arms have, which is quite nice. I worry that maybe these might get loose over time, that the legs start giving way on him. And he also has a rotational point in the, in the lower boot foot area. The first thing I actually thought of when I saw Fugitoid here was uh, also Mega Man. He really just screams Mega Man. A little, a little lankier, of course, in the arms, a little lankier in the legs. He does kind of have a Mega Man look to him that I wonder if a customizer could kind of turn this into a pretty cool Mega Man. Uh, also, for size comparison, switch off camera, there's Donatello. He's the taller of the turtles, so he's pretty much the exact same height as Fugitoid. Just to kind of give you an idea. Still love this toy. Overall, a pretty good figure. I like the new design of him. He still stays pretty co uh, consistent to how he looks just before, just a little more updated. Figure turned out good. At least it's got the posability that 
I would hope a figure would have had like this. It doesn't just have a straight swivel in the arms and the legs. I mean, you can get a lot of posability action going with him. I just worry that maybe, hopefully, he stands okay over the course of time. A pretty good figure. He's now currently in stores. If you guys are interested in picking this guy up for yourself. Today's toy spot, we were having a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fugitoid. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more toy spots on your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.